Next uh, test, there are two test in uh, induction motor, one is direct method test and another one is indirect method. So, what is the direct uh, test? Load test of the induction motor is the direct test. Indirect test is no load and uh, blocked rotor test. Next, we can uh, conduct the no load test. So, no load test you have to use the LPF meter. So, in while conducting the no load test, the NR will be NR value approximately equal to NS. That means, rotor you have to allow to rotate. Just you are giving the rated voltage. Hmm? By giving the rated voltage, and while conducting the no load test, you have to give rated voltage. In transformer, how you are conducting the open circuit test, you are giving the rated voltage. How you are conducting the short circuit test, uh, by making the secondary winding short circuiter, you are giving the rated current like that. Here, you have to give the rated voltage. For example, this is 400 voltage motor or 600 voltage motor, we can set the rated voltage, 600 voltage. At that time, what is the current? What is the power? That you have to take. That is V0, I0, W0. This three value you have to take. V0 is the rated voltage. So, the condition, this is the condition. You have to give the rated voltage at 600 voltage. What is the current? What is the power you have to take? This is the tabulation. Okay. This, this is the tabulation. Now, <coughs> using the that, that W0, W0 you can uh, read from the watt meter, you can read from the watt meter, watt meter uh, reading is W0. Okay, 2 watt meter, you can add the 2 watt meter value, then appropriately you can multiply with the multiplication factor. Then I0, you can measure from this ammeter, then V0, you can read from this voltmeter. Okay, so, from that W0 equal to root 3 V0 I0 cos by 0, cos by 0 is the no load power factor, V0 I0, I0 is the no load current. From that we cross multiplication, you can get the cos by 0, no load power factor. Then I w. So, what for we are uh, conducting this uh, uh, no load and uh, uh, block rotor test? So, no load and by conducting no load and block rotor test, we are able to calculate the equivalent circuit constant. What are all the equivalent circuit constant? R0, X0, then R01, okay, R01 and X01, X01 is the uh, uh, <coughs> equivalent circuit constant. What is R01? R1 plus R2 dash. Similarly, X1 plus X2 dash. This is the equivalent circuit constant. Using this, you can calculate the equivalent circuit constant. So, what is R0? R0 equal to uh, <coughs> V0 divided divide by IW. What is IW? IW is the current flowing through R0. So, IW equal to I0 cos by 0. IM equal to I0 sin by 0. So, X0 equal to V0 divided by IM. So, once by conducting the no load test, you are able to calculate or able to determine R0 and X0 value. By conducting no load test, you are able to determine the no load uh, equivalent circuit constant. No load equivalent circuit constant means R0 and X0. This is the equivalent circuit. Okay, R0 and X0, you are able to conduct. To calculate R01 and X01, you have to perform uh, block rotor test or short circuit test. It is also called as short circuit test. Okay. So, short circuit, short circuit test, this is the same arrangement. Only thing instead of LPF, you have to use the VPF because in block rotor test, you are going to block the rotor. That is, in case of block rotor test, the NR value should be 0. In short circuit, the no load test, NR value approximately equal to NS. Here, NR value should be 0. That means, you have to block using suitable arrangement. You have to block the rotor using suitable arrangement. So, at that time, here you have to apply the voltage. Even here you can use the uh, um, auto transformer here you can use here. Auto transformer here you can use using the auto transformer. Okay. So, this is the auto transformer that star connected auto transformer star connected auto transformer using that star connected auto transformer by adjusting this auto transformer uh, you can set the rated current short circuit current okay rated current you have to set okay so vsc isc wsc short circuit current for example 10 ampere means you have to set the 10 ampere by adjusting the auto transformer at that time what is the voltage what is the current what is the power you have to take in open circuit test you have, uh, you have to set the rated voltage and you have uh, measured the uh, current and uh, power at that time. So, in short circuit test, you have to set the rated current at that time, what is the voltage and uh, power you have to measure. So, that will give the <coughs> R01 and R01 value and X01. So, this is the formula WSC equal root 3 VSC ISC cos YSC. 
from that W S E equal to 3 I S E square R 0 1 all are perface value I S E R 0 1 all are perface value that is why you have used the 3. So, from that formula you can calculate R 0 1 X 0 1 is nothing but uh, root of Z 0 1 square minus R 0 1 square. So, what is Z 0 1 V S E divided by I S E once by conducting the block rotor test you are able to calculate R 0 1 and X 0 1. So, R 0 1 is nothing but by combining R 1 dash uh, that is R 1 plus R 2 dash then X 0 1 is nothing but X 1 plus X 2 dash using this we can calculate the R 0 1, X 0 1, R 0 and X 0. Once you have this value you can easily analyze it. 